After two days in the big city of Nargana, we departed for the peace and tranquility of two of the most beautiful anchorages in the San Blas Islands, where we did a thorough engine cleaning, enjoyed the wildlife, almost got sucker punched by a crab, avoided an encounter with a loitering crocodile, made some delicious papaya smoothies, and connected with the local fishermen. Beautiful morning here at Nargana, and we are taking off and headed to Coffin Island. The reefs are gonna be a little bit tricky today, but we've got it all mapped out and hopefully it all go well. Well, that was a muddy ordeal. About 30 minutes of having to rinse the chain of massive amounts of mud, but we are on the way and that's the important thing. We are running OpenCBN with the Bauhaus charts. Those are the charts from Eric Bauhaus's book, The Panama Cruising Guide. Someone made them e-charts and that's what we are using for navigation in addition to Navionics. I think we found an anchorage that we may never leave. Look at that. Before we head out for a snorkel, we're gonna make some papaya sorbets so that they are ready when we get back to eat. Well, not today, but probably tomorrow. So first we cut up the papaya, then add some ginger that we keep frozen in small chunks in the freezer, and some stevia if needed, and finally some lime juice. And after blending, just throw it into the freezer. 24 hours later, amazing papaya sorbet. We're gonna snorkel around Coffin Island and the reefs. It's a perfect day for this. Already packing, come with me. I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. About to see the world in action. What we can be, life with no distractions. Get away, this is what we waited for. Take my hand, we'll make it somehow. We can't miss out. I'm done living life with the lights out. Here is a bucket full of hot water, cold water, and simple green. And we are going to pour that over the engine. Which had been soaked down in degreaser with a little one of these, getting all the little nooks and crannies. We've covered up the belt and the alternator so we don't get any water. We've also sprayed it underneath the engine and all over the engine bay. And so. I took down all of the black insulation that was installed by Leopard. Unfortunately, that stuff deteriorates very quickly. And this is what it leaves on the floor of the engine room all the time. Then I need to corrosion X the whole engine and then wipe it down. We didn't know it when we dropped anchor, but we were thrilled to find out that we had a front row seat to the Ulu Highway, watching the Kuna fishermen sail or paddle to and from the reef each day in their wooden canoes. Often, they stopped by our boat, asking for water and rice and offering to sell some of their catch of the day, whether octopus, lobster, or fish. Somehow, 
Even on days without wind, we watch with fascination and awe at their skill to power their boats with a small colorful sheet connected to a tree limb. It was a beautiful sight. So this fisherman is here, he's catching octopus. That's a bucket full of octopus. And his name is, tu nombre es? Misterio. Misterio Rodriguez. Rodriguez. De Rio Diablo. De Diablo. Si. hate leaving this gorgeous place but gotta move on it's been nine days time to find a new paradise and wow it's been a wonderful stay here it's a beautiful day to move and we are headed west so i'm going to be up here making sure we're not hitting anything shallow but it looks really good on the charts. It looks good on everything. It looks good. So we should be fine. Definitely fine here at three knots, <laughs> but it's a beautiful day on the water. So it doesn't matter at all. Just really enjoying how calm it is, how beautiful it is getting to see the mountains on the Panama side. new digs and loving it we are now going with two solo sailors we're gonna do some snorkeling so this will be a really fun adventure they are amazing hardcore, hardcore that's for sure very cool so you'll get to meet them Susan and Suzanne it's a drift dive for the birthday girl Woo! Yeah. You look younger than I saw you the other day We had a wonderful snorkel with Susan and Suzanne and finished the day on Blown Away, celebrating Susan's birthday with food and a competitive game of Mexican train dominoes. So we're all going over on our paddle boards instead of going over by swimming because we just had our neighbor tell us there's a crock in the water between our boots. Oh my goodness. Okay. Put the paddle in the water so that you get some balance. Oh, oh there's a big crocodile. Oh, no. I don't wait. That was horrible. Oh, no. Here he comes. I think you better paddle. <laughs> no, do I need? We're doomed. We are totally doomed if this crocodile comes because the second he just bumps this thing, we're over. This Life was so simple and carefree. Rock. Maybe not so good to be here. Thankfully, we're not going very far. That was awesome. That was what it's really busy down there. We were very thankful that in our final day at Esnes Dupe, we enjoyed great animal encounters on our snorkel and that we did not see the crocodile while on the paddleboard. We have loved our stay at Esnes Dupe, but our time in the San Blas Islands is coming to an end. Join us next week as we move to Chichime to stage for our sail to Turtle Key Marina and prepare the boat for a month long hiatus to visit family. Thanks for watching. It's a good thing I don't see any snouts. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
<laughs> it's a good thing that ladder's out. <laughs> Something else. <laughs> We're almost back.